With World Press Freedom Day less than a week away, the department is launching its fourth annual Free the Press campaign. The campaign uh, beginning today and every day this week, we will highlight emblematic cases of imperiled reporters from around the world who are imprisoned, harassed, or otherwise targeted for doing their jobs by reporting the news. We will spotlight these cases in three ways over this week. We will raise them uh, here in the daily press briefing each day. Uh, we will be spotlighting them at humanrights.gov, which is uh, our uh, human rights uh, page on our website, and we'll be using the hashtag um, free the press to spread the word and message on Twitter. Um, with the first two cases we are highlighting this year, um, our first free the press profile comes from China, where veteran journalist Gao Yu was recently sentenced to a seven-year term after a closed trial for quote unquote leaking state secrets overseas. Ms. Gao has been internationally recognized for her significant contributions to press freedom and civil society in China since her career began in 1979. She was arrested in April 2014 as authorities detained dozens of activists and dissidents ahead of the 25th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square massacre. Her conviction is part of a disturbing pattern of government action against those who peacefully question official Chinese policies and actions. We join the international community in calling on Chinese authorities to release Ms. Gao immediately. And our second case comes from Syria, where three important freedom of expression activists remain detained on government orders. Mr. Mazen Darwish, Ms. Hani al-Zitani, and Mr. Hussein Guerrer are imprisoned. They were arrested in 2012 for advocating for freedom of expression, and they were held for two years without charge and an additional year without trial after the charges were filed. Their trial has been postponed 21 times and is rescheduled for tomorrow, April 28th. We continue to call for the immediate release of all three individuals who were arrested and remain detained for exercising their human rights. We also call on the Assad regime to release all arbitrarily detained journalists and political prisoners who are currently suffering uh, <coughs> horrific um, uh, conditions and are at risk of abuse and torture in the prisons.